Hey everybody, this is Dan. This is an update video for the week of October 19th um, to the 25th of fall 2015 here in Stats. Uh, I have updated all of your grades, any of your online homework uh, that you did not get done. Um, I've submitted a zero, but you can always go back and do those and get half credit. Uh, I've also input grades your discussion boards uh, and if you didn't complete those I put it in a zero again you can go back and uh, redo those if you didn't get a full credit or um, uh, you can actually go back and redo them but if you're curious what your current grade is just go under my grades click on your results and it'll show you your overall grade um, some people are having a few issues with chapter 3 discussion so if you go into chapter 3 um, the discussion board here is just uh, there's a little applet about calculating your pulse rate and when you click on this you're gonna sometimes you'll get an error here like this um, and so what I've done is made a little video to help you change your settings um, in Java and that video is back here so if you go under uh, course content and then this frequently asked questions so I've made this uh, new post here called Java Error on Applets and How to Fix. And under here, I've made a little video that shows you how to set up your browser to allow uh, exceptions from these applets. Um, I know this, is, this has been an uh, issue for a while. Um, it's not that critical for this first discussion board, but it will become more critical uh, in later chapters. So now would be a good time to try to get this fixed. So. Uh, if you're not sure, you know, if you're having problems, obviously post to that discussion board. I also encourage you under FAQ, hit subscribe to this discussion board so people post questions, you'll get a notification. Um, so it looks like Elizabeth has been the one that's been posting in here, and she's had some great questions about proctor exams and this uh, applet issue. So I just really encourage all of you to do that. Uh, so if we, you know go there and if you go under chapter 3 the reality is all they're asking here in the chapter 3 discussion is to take your pulse rate and find out what your z-score is and um, you can just look right here the reality uh, the normal is 73 with a standard deviation of 8 so you can just use that uh, you know take your pulse for like six seconds count it multiply it by 10 that's your number of beats per minute calculate your z-score and then post that here so you don't need the applet to do this one, but this is a good time for us to try to get this um, issue with Java to work, uh, so you can use the view, view all the other applets. And, you know, so we have all these applets uh, throughout the course, and these are very useful in helping you um, learn the content. So, really encourage you to do that. Uh, the other thing I really want to show you is we're taking the first test over chapters one through three. So, if you click on chapters one through three, it says chapter one through three test. And there it is. It's a PDF file. Uh, you click on it. It opens up a new tab. You can either print it, you could uh, download it, um, or you can just view it and write out your answers on a sheet of paper. I also have your uh, formula sheet here that you can use that will help you. And you also have uh, the standard normal tables here that you can look at. And uh, that's pretty much all you're going to need for that test. Uh, you need to have this submitted by Sunday, October 25th. And when you do that, you know, write out your answers, print it out, write it out, whatever that looks like, and then either scan it or take pictures of it with your cell phone and take those images. Uh, I would suggest putting them in a Word document and then come here, click on it, and then all you have to do is hit Browse My Computer and you can attach that Word document and then I will create it. So that needs to be done by October 25th. Um, I would encourage you to do it as soon as you're ready and then you can start working on chapter 4 content because from now on things are going to go pretty fast uh, these last um, essentially you know six to eight weeks here so um, the other thing you can do to get ready for the test is under course content uh, chapters 1 through 3 textbook and review material so I've actually got old tests and solutions videos over several semesters here so you could go in there uh, and kind of see um, how to do some of the questions. They're going to be very similar to the one that I'm giving you on this test. Um, so that should help you a ton. So I hope that helps. And um, yeah, so for those of you that have gotten in, done all of your online homework, done all of your discussions, the syllabus quiz, 
um, you are definitely ready to go to take this test and uh, when you get that done just go ahead and start working on chapters four five and six um, for those of you that didn't quite get all of those things done obviously get those done as soon as you can um, get your online homework discussions and then take this test and begin so this week is um, you know really rolling if you have any questions about how to you know submit your test or uh, questions like that um, the next test will be very similar you're going to submit it on blackboard and then the last two exams the ones over seven eight nine and then the final because the chapters 10 through 12 are just part of the final those two exams are proctored at a campus and um, I'll, I'll need to know which campus you want me to send that to um, and you can just either email that to me at some point I've written it down for a few people and I'll probably uh, put that as a discussion board um, in chapter 7, 8, and 9 just to make sure I've got that confirmed for everyone so hope this video helps get you oriented up to speed again those of you that are doing everything uh, that's awesome and uh, don't don't hesitate to go ahead um, you can always go faster than this minimum pace that I'm setting so uh, looking forward to seeing how you do on the first exams and it looks like some of you are doing very well on the online homework and discussions so uh, talk, have a great week